Let me just explain why this, con- this foundation is so good. It's lightweight, it's hydrating. The crazy thing is it's full coverage, but it gives you a natural finish. I'm Nina Ubi and I'm a professional makeup artist and we're back with another educational beauty video today. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you a foundation that I think you will, it's the only one you need. Like I honestly love this and I can't wait to share it with you because it's new and it is honestly, I would say one of the best foundations I've used. So to check out what it is and how it looks and how to apply it, keep watching. Now, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'm over on Instagram, so please head over there and hit follow and show your support. Now let's jump straight into the video. I've been really excited about sharing this foundation with you because when I tried it, it seriously blew my mind. It is such a good foundation. It literally ticks all the boxes. It's the Kat Von D Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. If you remember, there was a Good Apple foundation, which was like a balm. It was like a flat little kind of round palette thing. And it was like a thick balm and it was pretty heavy. Like applying it was a bit too much. The coverage was insane, but it was a little bit heavy. This is on another level, like it, it doesn't even feel heavy. It's so good. So I want to show you exactly what it looks like on. Now I have, I did have foundation on earlier. I kind of like took everything off apart from my eye makeup and my brows, just so that when my foundation is done, it all looks like, you know, semi-normal. So I've already got like a bit of um, moisturizer on. That's it. I'm going to get started with the primer. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Pore Refining Primer. Okay. I haven't actually used this, so this is the first time for me using this primer. So I've just taken a little bit. It's like a pasty kind of white texture. Okay, I love pore refining primers. So I just, you know, I get really excited when I find new ones. So, okay, well, let's see what this looks like once I put the foundation on. Cause I've already tried the foundation, but I haven't tried the primer. The primer is really cooling. It's almost like mint like. It doesn't smell a mint, but it's very kind of cooling on the skin. Yeah, it leaves the skin very, very slightly tacky and that's it. Okay, so primer is done. Let's get started with the foundation. Now, I know that you guys know that I do underpainting in terms of putting my concealer on first and then putting my foundation on. The only reason I'm not doing that today is not because it's a new technique or anything like that. I just want you to see how the foundation looks on its own on the skin without any concealer because I know a lot of you maybe don't use concealer and it's just a way for me to really show you the difference a before and after like either side because if I put concealer on now and do my usual technique then you're not really going to see how amazing this foundation is just on its own without kind of the concealer interrupting so I'm going to go ahead and use my foundation my shade is I'm kind of in between two shades at the moment currently with the tan I am tan 066 let me just explain why this con this foundation is so good it's lightweight it's hydrating the crazy thing is it's full coverage but it gives you a natural finish that's exactly what everyone has been asking for for so long full coverage like great coverage but natural looking now what i'm going to do is apply it on either side of my face but i'm going to do it with different tools just so that you guys can see exactly how it looks on because i really want to show you different ways of applying it because some of you may apply it with a brush some of you may apply it with a sponge firstly i want to show you side by side like what it looks like on and what it looks like off so that you guys can really see if it's something you want to get now i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on my brush so i'm literally just kind of putting a little bit on my brush my brush is my f47 from sigma beauty now i'm going to go ahead and do this side here and then you guys can really see what the difference is honestly every time i put this foundation on i'm like whoa like this is crazy it's crazy how good this foundation is like your skin just looks amazing after are you seeing this <laughs> And the fact that it's good for your skin too. Like, that's amazing. Like, obviously the colour, it's a bit warmer, but I mean, that's because I want my face to match the rest of my body. I'm going to put a tiny bit more on. Just take this over the forehead here as well. Like, 
you can really see the difference. I mean, I can, and I just can't believe how much of a difference this foundation makes without it looking heavy. I think that's the key thing here. That's what really sells this foundation and sets it apart from any other foundation that I've used. It's full coverage. It's amazing coverage, but your skin still looks natural. Like my skin does not look cakey whatsoever. It actually looks healthy. Like it actually looks glowing and but glowing in the right amount, you know, not like super shiny. I really want you guys to get a close up. I know my skin's not looking great at the moment, but this is with no foundation and this is with the foundation and it just evens everything out. The coverage is amazing and it's not even with concealer yet. So now I'm gonna apply it to the other side and I'm gonna use a sponge. So I'm just gonna put a little bit to the back of my hands like that. I've got my damp beauty blender. I'm gonna just like apply this as I always apply my foundation. So I'm just gonna like buff this into the skin. I obviously do prefer putting foundation on with a sponge over a brush. The only time I ever use a brush is if I'm like running late and I'm just like, you know, whacking a bit of skin tint or something on. I feel like this is a foundation that I would be happy using on a natural look, but it gives me great coverage. You know, usually when you think of a natural look, you never kind of reach for your full coverage foundation because you just know it's just not gonna look natural. But this is the great thing about this foundation is it genuinely looks natural on the skin. And that's what I love about it. Like I love the fact my skin looks healthy. This is why I love applying it with a like sponge. Just to me, there's a big difference with how this side looks and how this side looks. I hope that in itself, apart from the foundation, really converts you from using a brush to using a sponge. But that wasn't the aim of the game today. What I'm trying to aim for is showing you how amazing this foundation really is. Now I'm gonna go in with a concealer just so that we can, you can firstly see how the concealer looks and I can tell you what that feels like blending it in. And then we can also finish off with applying a little bit more foundation just over that concealer, you know, so to finish that whole underpainting technique that I couldn't show you from the beginning. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is the Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. Again, full coverage, but natural finish. Now this shade is medium 126. It's a little bit light for me at the moment because I'm quite tanned, but as soon as my tan goes or it starts to go, this is gonna be the perfect color for me. I don't mind using it still at the moment anyway because the foundation is a little bit warmer. So it's kind of gonna, it's kind of, kind of, it's kind of gonna balance it out. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my under eyes here. Not too much because it is a full coverage round I mean concealer. Let's go ahead and buff this in. I feel like you're really going to be like shocked by the concealer as well. Like just the smallest amount gives you the most amazing coverage. I think we can go with just like a little bit more here, just in a few areas where I really want to kind of like lift certain areas. Because I'm going to go over with a bit of the foundation. I actually really would like to try the darker shade in the concealer just so that it's kind of, you know, like just the right shade for my skin tone currently. Let's go with a little bit more foundation and this is where I'm just gonna like buff this over my concealer. And this should kind of like even everything out because the concealer is a bit light for me at the moment. But I just really want you to see what this all looks like together. I just love this foundation. I think you guys are gonna love it. I know you guys. I know what you guys are like. Like I see all your comments and I know what kind of stuff you like. And I know you're gonna love this foundation because every time I've really been obsessive over a product and you guys have gone out and bought it, you have ended up telling me after that you love it. Actually, I don't think I've ever had any of you come back and say, I really didn't like that. And let's hope that doesn't happen. But you know, sometimes, Something isn't gonna always suit everyone. If it suits me or I love it, it doesn't mean everyone else is gonna love it. So far, we've been doing pretty well, I think. 
As you can see, this is what it looks like. Now, if you want to, you could just set the areas that you want to set, you know, like just like the under eyes or the areas that you feel like not normally crease. And it's up to you what kind of powder you use. Now, I'm going to use my usual powder, which is my Ben Eye Luxury Powder in Banana. And all I'm going to do first, so I've got my like powder puff from Laura Mercier, and then I've got my beauty blender, and I've got a bit of the powder in the palm of my hand. Now, first, I'm going to just get rid of any kind of creasing here because I can just see that it's just kind of building up. Get rid of anything that's kind of sitting in those lines. And then we're just going to go in with the powder and press it onto the under eye area I'm just gonna dust it off whatever's like kind of there and then use my Real Techniques brush that was my veil brush from Hourglass by the way just to dust off that powder and this is my Real Techniques setting brush and there you go, it's set. So you don't have to apply powder if you don't want to. I like to because I like everything to stay in place. But honestly, I really do hope that you've kind of like seen just how amazing this foundation is. Obviously my brows and eyes and stuff are done. I don't have any kind of like bronzer on, so I'm just gonna add a little bit. I'm just using my Islanding from Fenty and my veil brush. And I'm just gonna like just sculpt a little bit in this area here. Just bring it up here to just slim my face down a bit. Just gonna add a little bit of lip liner. Yeah, guys, I finally got myself, I finally re restocked my lip pencil. My other one is like that small because I love this lip pencil so much. And yeah, I finally picked myself up a new one. So now you can see what the foundation looks like. I've kind of like done a few other bits to my face. I don't know what's going on with my hair here. But yeah, let me just tell you a few key benefits of this foundation. It's lightweight, it's full coverage, it is hydrating. So that's like why it's a serum foundation. On top of the fact that it does kind of feel the texture is like a serum. So that's another reason why it's called the serum foundation. It does have a poor blurring kind of effect to it and honestly I'm just like kind of like looking at my face close up yeah I mean obviously I can still see my pores but I mean it's definitely better than before also the pump is designed in a way where you actually waste as little foundation as possible which is a big issue usually because normally you kind of like take the pump out because you've always got like a quite a lot that you can still use at the bottom of like any kind of makeup product and it's also transfer proof it's long wearing it's great in humidity it's sweat proof it's flashback free it's cruelty free it's vegan it's lightweight as i think i already mentioned there's a lot going on with this foundation and I do think that it is something that you guys are gonna love. I personally absolutely love this foundation. It's my new favorite. It's definitely sitting with the rest of my foundations which I use on a daily basis. You know, like I alternate depending on the kind of look that I wanna go for. I cannot keep going on about this to you because honestly, each time I look at myself in the mirror, I'm obsessed with the finish. It's so flawless. It's so flawless. It doesn't even feel like I have anything on. I've just literally touched my face like this. Let's try the transfer proof thing, but bear in mind, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Majority of foundations that state that they're transfer proof are not. It, you're always gonna get something coming off on a tissue. So, you know. Okay, it's definitely not as much as I like thought it was gonna be. Okay. <laughs> I'm really confused right now because I literally just sat here and said, we all know foundations are transfer, like realistically. Look, at the same time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess around, right? There is a little bit of transfer on this tissue, but very light. It's not actually a lot. It's not enough that makes me think, okay, you know, and, and 
yeah it's it's good it is good it is really good another thing is there are 40 shades in this which i think is great now obviously they sent me over the most amazing like set i absolutely love it and i don't think i've got all shades in there but i've got a decent amount that they've put in there and i'm really thankful for that but th what they do also say is you can use a brush to kind of get immediate like an immediate full coverage look and then with a sponge you can build it up i personally feel that with a sponge i get better coverage than with a brush but i feel that anyway with any foundation so that's just my personal preference so i'm going to keep it real with you guys now also they do say that if you want to build it up use one pump like and then you can build it up if you want to and if you want immediate full coverage then use two pumps and just like apply all of that so i think it's really personal it's really down to what you think works for your skin because everyone has different skin so i can't really imagine that that instruction works for everyone so yeah realistically I was able to use one pump and then I added another pump after to like kind of build it up. But bear in mind, I did apply a little bit first and then I went with concealer and then I went back in with foundation, which isn't usually how I do it. But I just really wanted to show you. I'm just obsessed with this finish, guys. I'm really, really obsessed with the finish and I think you guys are going to love it. Oh, another thing they do say is they recommend to put it on, let it dry and see if it's true to your shade. So clearly the color may change a little bit. I'm assuming otherwise why would they say that right but I do find that this like I feel like when it dried down on me it, it was fine it didn't actually change color I don't think I mean you guys will know because you've watched the video but I I didn't think it actually changed I think this is the right color for me currently because I'm, I'm tanned if I'm not tanned then I'm guessing I'm going for this shade which is tan 060 which looks pretty light in comparison but actually when you put it on it's not that light so yeah i really wanted to share this foundation with you i know you may have seen a lot of it online as well because i think a lot of people are raving about this foundation and with good reason i think you're gonna love it it genuinely is a foundation worth the spend i feel like it is worth the money and i do feel like you guys are gonna love it so i really hope that you go out there try and find what your shade is and then go for it because once you use it like, i genuinely can't stop looking at myself in the mirror like i'm like not even looking at my face i'm just looking at the skin like i'm not like oh wow i'm like whoa the skin looks so good and if you remember in a previous video, I did mention that I'm kind of suffering with like extreme dryness at the moment. I haven't gone in with any extra moisturizer. I just has, I had my normal moisturizer underneath. I then went in with this primer and then I went in with the foundation and it still looks good. It's not drying. It doesn't feel drying. It doesn't feel like it looks dry. It's just made my skin look amazing and my skin isn't feeling or looking amazing at the moment. So that is all you can ask for really you know and it lasts really well on the skin too and i can say that because i've actually kept it on for majority of the day so anyway i really do hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope that wherever you are in the world you are having the best day ever full of love full of laughter and full of good vibes I really do hope you enjoyed this video today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.